I have made a composition. Go to the shape tool and make a square like I am making. By the way, you can select any color you want, but I am choosing white. Now just make this type of square. Click on your shape layer and then press S. You need to select this button to unlink the scale width and height. Then make the width zero. After this, make a keyframe for scale. Go few frames forward and increase the width. Let's see how it looks. Great. You can also change the width according to your text size if I select the layer and press P. I'm going to move this shape layer a little up. Now let's do the text part. Select the text tool and type your text. I will adjust it accordingly. Now go to the time when line animation ends. Now select the mask tool, the same square tool. But keep the text selected. Make a mask around text. Now select the text and press. Make a keyframe for mask on first keyframe, move the square up, making the text disappear. I forgot to animate the shape. So, let's animate it with Potion keyframe. Once done with line animation, move back to text. Oh, my line is overlapping the text, so I will fix it. This is what we got. Once satisfied, select your shape layer and make a keyframe with same values. Then again, few frames forward and make the line goes up. As my line is already animated, I will animate the mask, so when line goes up, my text disappear. This is the output. Now let's make the other text. Select the new text and select the mask tool. Make the mask around the text. Press M and make a keyframe. In starting it should be disappear. I will disable the other text so you can have a better understanding. Just for the rough idea, what I am doing, I am animating the mask with the movement of the line. Let me unable the other text. Now see what we got. Amazing. Once you're happy with the results, pre-compose all the layers together. You can add any glow you prefer. I will add deep glow. If you want a text color, you can go inside pre-composition and just change it. Make sure to easy ease all keyframes and enable motion blur on all the layers for smooth results. I hope the tutorial was easy to understand. Thank you so much for watching.